Hey guys, lions are awesome. So if you've ever been around a lion, you know that they're big creatures. And if you ever heard one roar, it like sends a chill down your spine. And we know that the God we serve and our father is the Lion of Judah. Now, one thing that people don't necessarily know about lions is that they have their eyesight is amazing. They have fantastic eyesight, which is really helpful whenever they're out on the savannah because they've got to be able to see far distance away where their prey is. And the thing about that is, you know, like if they, if anything goes wrong with their eyesight, then their ability to survive diminishes. They also have great hearing. Um, they have to be able to, um, you know, hear, um, you know, whenever they're sneaking up on a, on a prey and um, different things like that, that their hearing is actually very very much uh, a part of their senses that are just that make them the king right and um so one of the things that people you know used to do back in the day and um not that i agree with it but they used to have lion tamers and these lion tamers would get in a cage with a lion and they would take a stool and a whip and they wouldn't whip the lion no what they would do is they would take that stool and they would shove it into the lion's face and in that lion's face would be the four prongs of uh, of the uh, stool. And it made it to where there was too much going on. And it was trying, their eyes were trying to focus on too many pieces. And it couldn't focus. And then they take that whip and they'd crack it right over the ears. Those very sensitive ears of the lion. And it would disorientate the lion. And this lion would then, you know, because it didn't know what was going on, it was so disoriented, it was so confused, it just became more and more docile because it was so messed up. And sometimes um, you've got to think, if your father is the Lion of Judah, you're a lion. And... A lot of times the enemy comes at us and he wants to distract us. He shoves something in our face and, you know, we're supposed to have this keen eyesight to be able to see things from far away and be able to this. And he, he takes things and he throws it in our face and, you know, like keeps it to where we can't focus on the things that are important because these things are right there. And then we've got this loud noises that are, you know, cracking overhead and that we hear all this, you know, and we see all this and we get so distracted from our purpose, and from what it is that God wants from us. And so I want to encourage you. Yes, you know, like we we have victory. 1 John 5 says that, you know, like anyone, you know, who's in Christ is overcome, right? We're, we have victory in Christ and we've overcome the world. And so that that being said, the only thing that's stopping us from taking our purpose and taking the calling that we have is our own distraction. Those those uh, legs that aren't really threats but are getting our attention and making it to where we are not operating in what it is that God's calling for us. So I encourage you as you go through your weekend, just take the time to sit and just say, hmm, God, I, I want to take my focus off of these things that are going on around. I want to put it back on you so that you can direct my attention to my purpose. And I'm not going to stop listening to the noise around me because I want to listen to your voice. And we hone ourselves back in and then we can dive in and go straight for the goal. So thanks for taking a minute.